Monica Bellardi. Come on! <laughs> I can't handle my own life. Do you really think I want to hear about yours? I myself have had a really stupid life with such dumbass luck, and I've always had this death wish fantasy. For example, I once called a suicide hotline on the verge of taking myself out. No, seriously, out on a ledge, gun to my head, serious, and they put me on hold <laughs> and never came back. <laughs> And yet another time, I was thrown out of a hair salon because I cried too much. <laughs> Apparently, that's because there's no crying in hair salons. It's just as well. They only knew how to do one hairstyle anyway. They did the same one on men that they did on women. And yet another time, I was so desperate and alone. I called a 24-hour prayer line, and they hung up on me. <laughs> Three times. You know, maybe if I was an adolescent boy, they would have put me right through to the next waiting priest. And if that offends anybody, too bad. Because I was raised Catholic, I'm already over my limit of guilt. <laughs> then another time, this was just recently, I was kicked off of a high school track at 5.30 in the evening because they were having a track meet. The starter with the pistol was so rude, he yelled at me. Hurry up, huh? You're holding things up. So I asked to borrow his pistol, and then I shot it right at his balls. <laughs> Relax, it was just an air pistol, but you know what? He got the message. No one else said anything to me, and after all, there are five other lanes they could use for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Not only have I been hung up on, kicked out of, and off of, I was also kicked out of my own home by my own older brother, the executor of my father's estate. He didn't even have the decency to tell me himself. Now, I found out when he brought a realtor with him and she started asking me, so, what's your price range? And this is a lovely updated Cape Cod we have here for you. And I said, but I already live here. And she said, not anymore, you don't, sweetheart. Not unless you can afford to buy it. So what's next, huh? Getting kicked off the fucking planet? Good, do me a favor. I'm sick to death of it here anyway. It's too overcrowded. Too many people getting laid. Not enough people getting spayed. <laughs> you know, I admit, all my life I've been a Peter Pan. And now I realize I'm also Goldilocks with dark hair because I have been looking for a place to live since I was thrown out of my house. I can't find anything. Everything is either way too big and expensive or way too small and dumpy. Nothing's ever just right. So not only is my life stupid with dumbass luck, it's also a fractured fairy tale. You know, I used to have two older brothers but each one of them married a bitch from hell. One so right in your face aggressive, she was even in the army. Not only that, but her first husband, because she is such an unbearable bitch, took out a hit on her. You know, a contract? He actually hired somebody to kill her. Now that's how bad she is. And the asshole missed. So then my family got stuck with her. And that is a true story. And I'm just giving you all a heads up here to beware that if you ever encounter these two, they sell water filters that range from two to $4,000 that do absolutely none of what they claim to do. You can get the same effect by putting baking soda into a glass of water. It's a proven fact. So they're basically just snake oil salesmen, which is not even anywhere near used car salesmen. Yeah, and then the other bitch from hell, the calculating coward that she is, passive aggressive. And both of them control each brother to the point where they both became pussified by them. That they were out to make them cut ties with their own family from the very beginning, especially me. <laughs> so if it wasn't for these two fugly, unfuckable cunts, I'd still have a home. They say comics are 
angry? I'm not angry. I am irate because we are outnumbered and surrounded by stupid fucking morons, most of whom are in high positions of power. Plus, I need to do this in order to stay out of jail. <laughs> so, to sum up, I am an actress, an artist, and now I'm doing this. Why? Because I want to make absolutely sure that I starve to death. <laughs> Thus completes my death wish fantasy. Also, I never did pay much attention to the three strikes you're out rule. Okay, well, that's it for me, and probably more than enough for you. So, thank you, and good night. Study disposition of Monica Bellar.